Hey guys, so today I decided I want to film a winter get ready with me. Sorry if the lighting's absolutely fucking terrible. It's a dark day. Also, sorry if I'm a little I unenthusiastic coming, in this video. So I was a little sick, so yeah. I'm gonna start off with my Vaseline, which all of you know. But now I'm about to put moisturizer on because my skin is fucking dry. My hair is also a fucking mess, but I'm gonna do it in this video, so gonna be good trust me i'm just gonna start off by doing brows which you already know what i use i use the elf dip brow in the color medium brown and then i use this elf angled brush uh, i'm gonna use this elf spoolie i feel like my face is like gross i don't know what's going on but I'm just gonna start off by brushing my brows out like i normally do And I hope that this angle is better than the last Get Ready With Me. Wow, my eyebrows look pretty good. Hmm. Interesting, because I haven't been doing shit to them, so that's kind of weird. Hmm. Someone's mad about their video game. Okay. So then I just lightly stroke it, you know. With the natural shape of my brow, by the way. My mom ordered something from Target. And they literally sent her the wrong thing twice. And it's not even, like, similar to what she bought. I think she bought, like, um, gray sheets. Like, for your bed. And then, the first time, she got orange curtains. And then, the second time, she got a little girl's butterfly, um, bedspread. So, it's clearly not what she wanted. And I think she's pretty... Frustrated right now. I don't know if I want to like be extra with my brow or just like lightly fill it in like that today. I feel like it today. See, my fucking chin feels like it's just being weird. I don't even know. Baby. Can you even tell the difference? I mean, this is my bad brow though, so. Can you ever really tell the difference? You can always tell the difference. I mean, I think it's kind of okay, though, because I'm kind of planning on doing a kind of dramatic eye look today, so. Toning down the brow could be a good thing. <laughs> Comment down below and let me know what you guys are going to be doing for winter break, because I'm interested. I want to know what you guys are going to do for Christmas. This looks like shit. No, that's actually pretty good. I feel like I've been getting way better at my brows. Somehow. Filming in this house is like the worst thing I could ever do. It's so not quiet. And everyone's just loud and annoying. But it's fine because that's my family. I don't even think I've had my brother in a video yet. I hate when one part is like patchy, like it's gross. But this clearly is not a professional video anyway. <clears throat> By the way, my videos are about to like step the fuck up. So don't worry if you're like, oh my God, this bitch's quality is trash. <laughs> Cause me too. But I'm for Christmas, I'm hoping to get a new camera and then some lighting. So my videos just step the fuck up basically. Now, I'm going to do my mascara by using the self curler. And I'm just going to curl. Ow, what the fuck? This part right here always, like, pulls my hairs right there. Like, my little peach fuzz, you know what I'm talking about? I'm not doing any eyeshadow because, one, I don't really feel like it. And, two, um, if I'm doing glitter eyeliner, I don't think I need it. But that's just me. I'm using the Better Than Sex Mascara, by the way, by Urban Decay, which I'm sure you already fucking knew. Okay, I was just rudely interrupted, so now I'm gonna finish my, um, mascara. But I guess that's my fault, though. My eyelashes look super clumpy, what the fuck? Okay, what the hell? They look clumpy as fuck. Okay. Now we're gonna do eyeliner and hope that this doesn't make me look fucking emo considering my um 
mascara decided to have a stroke today or some shit. I don't know what the fuck is wrong. Okay. Eyeliner is probably the hardest thing in the entire world, especially winged eyeliner. But if you want tips, all I can say is follow your bottom lash line diagonally straight up and then just flip your hand and put it in. It's fine. I also mess up like 20 million times, so there's that too. Then I just fill in the line. I do look hella emo. Hopefully, <laughs> the glitter makes it look better, cause girl, this is doing the utmost. I don't know, maybe my fucking makeup skills just disappeared today, which is very likely. So always die with you. Pretty good. Surprisingly. <laughs> Surprisingly. Now the left one is going to be tragic. Girl, I think I fucked up. Mental note. Do your eyeliner before you do your mascara. Don't do what I did because, bitch. This is being temperamental as fuck. What the fuck? Oh my god, that was so scary. <laughs> I'm gonna die with you. I mean, usually my left eyeliner is just always really bad, but today it's on a whole nother level of shitty. This is why I can't be a fucking beauty guru. I mean, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Like I said, mental note, never, ever do your eyelashes before your eyeliner. Um, learn from me, please. Um, and don't listen to me when I give you eyeliner advice. <laughs> I mean, I know that that's like the best way to put on eyeliner. Plus, I haven't put on eyeliner in, like, the longest, too, so that could also be it. I've been just wearing, like, really natural looks lately. Wow, honestly, you can't even tell because the fucking camera is trash, but yeah. Now, I'm gonna add the glitter liner. So, I think, I know I'm gonna use these NYX glitter liners, but... I think I'm gonna do white because it'll contrast the black nicely. Um, I've never used, I haven't used this yet. Oh fuck, I got on my fucking eyelash. <gasps> um, it's beautiful. You probably can't tell. But I'll do a close up later so you can see it better, but it's so beautiful. Okay, um, I'm netting everywhere. That's the best way I can describe how I feel right now. And I'm sad that you can't see what I'm witnessing right now. But you will in a minute. Because it's beautiful as fuck. Oh. And it's like in my eyelashes. And it looks low-key cute. Now it's to do the bottom with the silver. Which I'm scared about. Because I don't want to mess this up. Because lower is harder. I don't know if you can even see that. Oh, yes, you can. Ah! It's so pretty. It gives us, like, really, like, wet, pretty look. It's so glittery. I can't. Now, we're definitely going to do a metallic lip for this look. My eyes are kind of burning. That's probably not a good sign. But it'll be fun. Oh, wait. Actually, I want to do highlight first. I want to use this white duo chromatic illuminating powder and it's in the color snow rose so I feel like it goes with this really sparkly wintery look. I'm excited but you know I gotta use my wet and wild illuminating stick first because if we don't do that then what's the point you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying by the way I totally stole that from one of the kids in my class because he always says that, but I think it's funny, even though I don't like to admit it. But if you go to my school, you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> and 
And I'm just using one of the beauty blenders I got on Black Friday. The new one. So I haven't used this yet, but... Oh, fuck my highlights. Amen. Jesus. I'm gonna use this old ass fucking Claire brush. Put over to use the NYX to cover it and set it, you know what I'm saying? I need to stop fucking saying that. It's really annoying. Oh. I know you see that shit. What the fuck? That was literally the bare minimum and it still did the utmost. Oh my god. I feel like I look like an ice princess, and I'm here for it. Bitch, I'm done. With that, anyway, I still gotta do my uh, chromatic lip color. Ride or die with you. I got Gangsta by Kaylani stuck in my head, if you can't tell. Definitely gonna do a NYX suede metallic color but i want to do one i haven't worn yet and i don't remember which one i've worn yet i'm gonna wear the color the nyx liquid suede in the color modern maven which i might have already worn and i'm just dumb but oh well you're gonna wear it yeah this color's so pretty with this look though bitch i know it This lip color is so pretty. And maybe if it actually knew how to like apply lipstick non-fucking sloppily, maybe it would actually look cute, but you know. You can't have everything, kids. You can't have everything. ASMR. Goals. I think that's the best applying of a lip thing I've ever done. Honestly. <laughs> I'm so happy with this look. I'm so happy with this look right now. But I don't know if I'm feeling myself yet because the eyeliner kind of like fucked up my vibe. So I don't know if I really like it yet. But it's fine. Me later. Can we talk about my highlight though? What the fuck? Shit bright as, shit bright as hell. By the way, that glitter liner Loki made my black eyeliner look like blue sparkles, and I'm obsessed. By the way, I'm also going to do my hair in this video, because I know it looks trashy. I got you, sis. It's going to be okay. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be okay. Promise. So this is the close-up. I think you can see the glitter, right? It's like blue purpley. It's so pretty. Then that highlight, bitch. What the fuck? Then the lips. Please, please ignore that. That's fucking gross, but. I feel like you can see the glitter. Oh my god, guys. It's snowing. I have to show you. It's snowing. I don't want to show my backyard too much because I don't want to, like, get found, but. Look. I don't even know if you can tell. That's so cool. Imagine doing like a 20 hour time lapse of that. That's so crazy. Now I'm just going to do a slick high pony. And I'll show you how I do that. First I'm just going to brush out my hair. Because it's nappy. I, wait, fuck what? A weekend night routine. I'm going to be filming a weekend night routine tonight. So you'll get to see me do my cute little stuff. Okay, so now after that, I grab my hair tie. I just thought it's probably really annoying, but I'm just going to show you how I put my hair up. So I flip over like this. And I just brush it all up. <laughs> my hair is super knotty right now. And so this high pony, and I will end up gelling my hair down so that it all stays and stuff. So how I do that is I grab my Eco Styling Gel. It's olive oil. Ooh. And I grab a little from the top. Just kind of like that. And get a little for the back too. 
because the back has a lot of flyaways that need to be gelled down. As I tie it up in my pony, I usually, I usually use two little rubber bands. It's a little gray teasing comb if I just used to brush it down so I'll like get a little gel on it and just kind of brush it all back so that it's nice and sleek. Brush everything back towards the pony. Really sleek. You can like you can add some more gel and like slick it down some more, but I kind of just leave it like that for now. Once I do that, I kind of like fix this out to make it more sleek. So I put some Art Naturals Argan Oil to slicken it down. Once I'm done doing that, I go ahead and do my little edges, <laughs> or what I have of edges at least. <laughs> I take this little toothbrush, ew, I dip it in it again, and I go ahead and bring forward some baby hairs. And now my hair looks crazy, and I just go ahead and start like, you know. Flipping it so it's nice and swoopy like that. Styling them is something I don't like doing that much because it's really hard for me to like do anything like special. <laughs> so I just not like kind of do it naturally. Like so, sideburns. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and set those pieces back onto my head. So yes, then this is my little sleek high pony with a little flare at the ends. And I really like the way it turned out. But yes, this is the makeup. And then this is the hair. So yes, thank you for watching. If you liked it, please subscribe and follow me on Instagram and all that. And just to know that I'm going to have better content soon. <laughs> I just have to wait for my camera and my lighting system. So, stuff is about to get really, like, good and better for this channel. So, I'm really excited about it. So, yes, thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.